episode 20 or season 2 episode 6 the worst year load on the internet today we are receiving the admins yes first time i have multiple admins from a page at once from the great awesome page do androids dream of electric memes so i'm going to let you introduce yourselves um Whoever wants to start, starts. Uh, I'll go first. I'm the main admin. My name is Noah. Uh, I I'm welcome, welcome, Noah. Noah. Hi. Okay, I... Um, what's it called? Oh, sorry. You go first. This didn't happen. That's okay. Uh, I'm Ryan. I am the ginger admin. The ginger admin. Okay. And I'm Enrique. I'm the comic book admin. Okay. Uh, great. So, well, let's let's start. We always start with the same question. Maybe it would, would be time to change it, but you know that's uh, from uh, for another uh, episode. We'll discuss that later. The always beginning question is: What is at the moment your favorite meme? Hmm, that's a good question. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, I like the one where it's like... Where it's like... I don't know. Um, I don't know how to describe it. It's like all, all the memes are like so weird. I don't know how to give it a name. Uh, you, like uh, Ryan. Yeah, you Ryan right? when we hang out. Well, <laughs> usually we, <laughs> it just is really stupid stuff. Like, um... I remember this this one time we hang out like we used to play Smash, and there was like a peanut M and M on a couch, <laughs> and so we were like, "You made a meme that's like peanut M and M playing Smash. Who will he main?" <laughs> like, oh yeah, memes. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> so stupid, but that's why it's funny. <laughs> it's yeah. Like Kirby. Kirby? <laughs> I was saying Kirby. He'd main Kirby, yeah. probably. Blue, blue Kirby. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, got it. I think that was a general consensus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pretty good meme. Uh, um, so, yeah, are you boys fans of Philippe K. Dick? I assume you are, but is it just did you just take the name kind of at random, or are you just uh, really uh, sci-fi nerds? Uh, well, the name <clears throat> actually came from me, but this was before I had even read the book. I was just looking okay. for a good name for a page, and I, I don't know where I heard it, but I knew that was that would be like a fun thing to do. And it wasn't until like three months later that the three of us uh, actually read the book and even mm -hmm. watched Blade Runner. And I think, Enrique, you, you're you probably the one who's read the most Philip K. Dick out of the three of us. You the man in the high castle and a lot of his other works, and it probably wouldn't have even read any of it if it wasn't, you know, for being thrown into the position of, hey, you're an admin on this page now. Uh, okay, it's a little difficult to make out what you're saying. Could you maybe be a little closer from your mic, please? Uh, yeah, try moving somewhere else. I think this place <laughs> where I'm at right now is just. Oh. <laughs> he sounds like he's in an he infinite, like void, in or infinite void or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he just fell off the chair in an infinite void. It's like a really bad away. situation. If he became an infinite void, what would he do? <laughs> <laughs> this really reminds me of the you know the first Half-Life when you're on that planet Xen uh, and yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the monsters are attacking you from, from far away and the sounds are all jumbled. Sounds exactly like this. <laughs> Xen. <laughs> Just make your way to your car. Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't care how far away it is. It's close enough. Like, literally, where are you right now? Hello? Hello? Space. <laughs> <laughs> we just lost contact. Uh, uh, this is really sorry. bad, guys. This is really, really bad. But, I was not oh. expecting no, to be over here. I was expecting to be somewhere else. Oh, it's back, and the audio is much better now. Great. Uh, so uh, it just occurred to it just occurred to me 
that I was uh, that um, do uh, Androids Dream of Electric Sheep the book is set in November 2019. Yeah, hey! we made it. So, oh, this is now awesome. Ooh, this is that, timely. You know, I didn't even... It just occurred to me like one minute ago while the guy was like on the other planet thing. And um, yeah, so... Oh, oh God. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. He, he does this all the time, but it just... <laughs> <laughs> Off. Yeah, it's okay. Um, Doesn't come d- back. It's d- doing a double jump. He was the one who like helped coordinate this whole thing, and he's the least <laughs> yes. prepared. This is this is just typical Enrique <laughs> behavior. Oh. 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 I can hear him now. I can hear him now. That's <laughs> yeah, technology. Yeah, th- that's not the first time this kind of shit happens. Uh, we had to reschedule. Over and over for two months with a sheet post about 5,000 because we just were so bad at figuring out the time zone difference between France mm-hmm. and Australia, and we missed we missed each other. <laughs> and like we tried to reschedule it every week for almost two months. Oh, wow! And so it's um, it's uh, it's fine. Uh, that this kind of shit happens all the time. Uh, still, uh, the worst. Earload on the internet. We're very That's why much we're the worst because we can barely Amateurs. record most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So it makes us the best at being the worst. We'll just add a bunch of spacey effects and some weird ass <laughs> music, and uh, that will be like avant garde. You know. Yeah. Uh, really mod- post mo- post post modern. Uh, what's the what's the thing after post uh, meta modern? <laughs> yeah, because post modern is yeah yeah because there there was like this uh, this big uh, wave. Of art and culture called modernism, uh, that was it's basically a baby boomer thing, and then postmodernism started basically in the 70s and was at its peak during the 90s, and now it's kind of died, and the the thing that replaces it is meta modernism. As uh, um, well, t- maybe that's um, not the <clears throat> best time and place to talk about <laughs> it, but maybe it is. Uh, and it's a reference. It's not meta, as in um, meta, like the Greek um, thing that uh, encompasses the, the thing that it's talking about. It's a reference to the metaxia by Plato. Oh wow! Uh, that is, it's a uh, that is um, it's a philosophy that goes um, that is like moderate because it oscillates. Uh, consistently between two extremes, but it's it goes so fast from one pole to another pole that it looks like it's in the middle. Uh, so uh, meta modern is kind of it's modern and it's postmodern, but it's also neither. So you know, could anything uh, be after meta modernism? Sure, something has to come after meta modernism. Yeah, sure. Is it something that's completely it has to, still that's the and doesn't oscillate at all? Maybe. Maybe. We could reach the final stage it's... of like yeah. the thing that nothing comes after it. It's, we're just in the void at that point. Yeah, permanently yeah, nice. in the void. Or maybe, maybe instead of you know oscillating between uh, two things, it could be oscillating be- like in three D. Like in- instead of going from point A to point Z, it could be like bouncing like the <laughs> fucking the DVD thing. You remember <laughs> DVDs mm-hmm. and. That it's now it seems to me like it was a fucking lifetime ago because I, I was watching DVDs all the time when this first came out in like in '99, and I haven't watched any DVD in like 20 years. So um, I, I don't know when I'm talking to young people. They're like, do you know what a DVD is? I'm not never sure. <laughs> and uh, so uh, so when you like startled the DV, like when you when you turned on the DVD, DVD machine, machine thing, think, yeah. But, but there, there was, was no, no DVD inside. inside. Yeah. There, there was, was some, some kind of logo, logo that bounced off the, the corner, corner of the yeah. screen. So, so that, that would be the next thing, thing, in my opinion. opinion. I think it's being started by <laughs> the new Elon Musk vehicle. That's the marker of whatever mm. we're in now, is whatever that shit is. That's, that's, that's our new era. Uh, like uh, a retro, retro homage-ism. Something like that. Yeah. Well, it's uh, it's 
it's a reference to the vehicles in, in Total Recall, I believe, uh, because he's a big fan of this movie. Of Recall and Total products. Recall is also Total Recall is also adapted from a Philip K. Dick book. Mm. Yeah. So oh, that's damn. the only very other one that circle. I read. Very, very topical. topical. Yep. yep. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's the next thing. Full circle instead of oscillation. <laughs> it's just it's a disc. It's a DVD. Like the we're, we're in Dickian times. <laughs> Do, do you guys remember of the, the the CDs thing? It was like some kind of plastic circle with music on it. <laughs> yes. And uh, uh, and so uh, it was kind of like silvery gray, <laughs> but when you moved it, there was like colors and shit, like in the um, in the in the in the prism. You I know? remember getting my very first CD ROM in 1992. Well, it wasn't a CD ROM; it was just a CD, and I thought it was so cool. It had the Aladdin soundtrack. On it, I was like four years old. I was flipping my oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. nice. Yeah, I don't. I don't know uh, if that was the case in wherever you are from, but here uh, during the nineties, especially the late nineties, we got bombarded by every company, uh, and it was like in magazines, it was in our mailboxes, the f CDs of like uh, 20 hours of internet yep. free. And yeah, there was that. like, we all had like tens, uh, sometimes it was like f a dozen per month. And so uh, I, I was living like uh, next to a farm and uh, every farmer had these CDs in trees to uh, scare the birds because the, the reflections uh, <laughs> were... Like, it's, it was... We were all invaded by these fucking CDs, like AOL and all that shit. And so, yeah, I, I was living in a, in a shithole in the countryside and every farmer had, like, dozens of CDs in their field to scare off the birds. That was, that was a little surreal, especially now when, you, when I think about it. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it was a, it was a strange time in the '90s, right? Um, if it's okay, we would like to uh, ask you, um, what is your favorite meme? Like, I I I'd rather talk about memes at this point. Uh, what's your favorite meme? So it's a uh, silly little heart because there are so many memes and um, so many great ones throughout the years. Uh, but like, I mean, like at the current moment. At the current moment, okay. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with the I will tell my kids meme. Because it was kind of like cringe, normy when it began. But so uh, I, I like that because there is always, you know, a lot of really diverse reactions. Just like for loss, for example, where some people love it, some people hate it, and you can use different layers of irony, pile them on top of it. So uh, I, I've been doing a lot of edits of that. Um, uh, I will tell my kids that, uh, you know, uh, whatever, this meme was funny. So that <laughs> of, of, of nowadays, that's probably my favorite one. Uh, has that been done yet? Has, has I will tell my kids that this meme is funny been done yes. yet? Yes. Yes, oh, I've okay. seen a yeah. bunch of them. I've seen a bunch of those already. Uh, and uh, hmm. well, um, there's the the Tesla Cybertruck memes. They're barely starting, but they show a lot of promise, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, I'm the, a fan. The, lots of potential. And um, yeah, for, uh, right now, there's probably these are probably my favorite ones. Um, of the moment, yeah. Uh, how about the other two co-hosts? Uh, I, I want to hear your opinion. Um, my like, I would say my like all-time favorite meme would be Gondola, just because I'm a big fan of uh, visual art, and that's a big focus. Like aesthetic is a big focus of the Gondola meme. Mm. Um, but yeah, I've been I've been sharing the Cybertruck memes lately. Yeah, I I enjoy the Cybertruck memes. My latest obsession has been really, really shitty iterations of the death of the woman yelling at Cat. Like, it's just coming yeah, up. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm friends with a lot of normies on Facebook, and they, they're just sharing the worst possible tone deaf, like, hit you <laughs> like, a, like a lead brick in the head versions, versions of that meme. meme, and I keep posting them to the to the mojito facebook group um just yeah. to, like share my hatred 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's what I love right now. It is right pretty now. terrible. It is pretty terrible. <laughs> yep. Do we have all three um, people online now of our co-hosts? Yeah, Enrique, are, are, you, are, are you alive? Can you just hear me? You're like kind of faint. <laughs> still we can turn you up, though, I think. Individually. Halfway in the void. Um, I have a question for all of you. So you, you all hang out in person, and that's how yeah. you decided to get this thing started? Yeah. We, uh, we went to high school together. We, we were buddies. Um, we're... <laughs> One all of a sudden. It... <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Can you like repeat that? Just like start again a little louder. All right. Okay. So here's what happened. So basically, um, the main ad, Noah decides all of a sudden to start a me. For some reason, he ha adds me and Ryan, just because I guess. <laughs> fourth person added two at the but he doesn't really use but yeah and we're just like wh what's going on what is uh -huh. that? and then you know we found out about well I mean Noah didn't he knew about but Ryan and me I guess we had to find out all the stuff by ourselves because we didn't really know all that stuff yeah I threw them in the deep end of the pool without any like water wings trial as far by as fire like, yeah as far as like what you would call, I guess, weird Facebook. Oh, okay. That's fun. So, so that was like that was like way back in the day, I suppose, like in 2014, maybe? Uh, 2014 is when I kind of discovered it. Uh, 2015 was when I made the page. Like February, January 31st, like around there. Gotcha. So are, are you all out of high school now? Are you still oh, yeah. still in high school? <laughs> yeah. Uh, one of us has graduated college. Uh, me and Enrique are still working on that. Yeah. That's cool. One of us actually has a job now. Yeah. A, a yeah, job? Ryan's a teacher. Shit. <laughs> Why? It's crazy. Why? Oh, I don't know you what a job is. You got a, meme, you got a huge meme page monetize it. <laughs> Well, I've thought about it, but like we haven't, you know, done any yet. How do you, how do you really make money off of a meme page? I, mean, I, I doubt. Hungry, I'm curious about this too. Men. Yeah. Three, three I doubt. Lads. I doubt the average viewer is gonna, you know, put money into this thing. Yeah, yeah. Might sell well, t-shirts on the side, as, just as long as we're not like putting money into it. Maybe like yeah. Redbubble or something. Yeah, yeah, Redbubble is pretty good for that. Uh, Teespring is even better for the same shit. There's the, the best option, of course, is sponsors because your fans don't have to give anything and they oh, yeah. just like put some ads on your page. Usually it's not really obtrusive. Uh, also, of course, there's Patreon, but that's uh, most people who enjoy memes are like penniless students or people who still live with their parents, so it's hard to. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not really a good audience. They're politically really against bastards. Yeah, yeah, of, yeah. Of course, if you manage to get approved, you can put uh, ads on your Facebook videos and earn monies from mm -hmm. that. But uh, you know, I've I've asked so many times, and I've always been rejected because Facebook admins think that there's not enough um, original content on my page. Uh. My page has a as a two limited originality of content even if most of the videos i post uh are just some some shit that i made but uh yeah it's um what what uh what job do you uh do if it's not uh you know too personal yeah um, i do graphic design uh, yeah. ah cool um yeah i i i graduated from college uh, i studied math i currently uh teach high school math at a high school nice now. That's nice. Oh, so two of you have jobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a man. Yeah, if I have. <laughs> Wait, so so what was your were, were you guys in a clique in high school? Would you say like what was the nature of your of your group? In a gang. We're just yeah, we were a green gang. Green gang. Gang green. Not. Basically what happened? No, no. <laughs> we didn't really be end of high well at least me with the other two. if they were 
Dude, we can't hear Damn. you. We kind of gravitated to each other. I have like the um, best. I heard. Like, we were right. kind of... um, can you guys hear me? Uh, barely. It just cuts out periodically. Yeah. Were you guys involved in any extracurriculars, like band or theater? Did you just like oh, yeah. hang out, hang out in the back, the back of the school, and like sh post memes with together? No, we were um, we were in extracurricular activities, but that isn't where we met each other. Um, the ginger admin, he was in band. I took theater. Uh, Noah, I think, did something exactly. Yeah, sure. I was in a. It's a division of Key Club it's called Keywins. I was president of that. I was Ooh. on the youth advisory commission for the city. And I think there was something else. Oh, wow. What's, what's Key Club? Never heard of it. Uh, it's like a volunteer work. They do charity around the world. They'll have like oh. little clubs, um, either for like adults. I think it's like Kiwanis or Key Club. I'm not, it's been a while, so I'm not really sure what, like the hierarchy, but they'll have different clubs at high schools. And hmm. that, that was a uh, president of that. Yeah, I heard about it. I always see that shit on uh, American TV shows, and I'm uh, really jealous of that. I really wish we had that kind of stuff uh, here, but uh, yeah, nothing even close, sadly. I would mm. have enjoyed it. Yeah. When you said uh, you were like uh, the Green Gang, is it because you're like, you're like huge fans of John Green or something like that? <laughs> he, he's making, or that's just an inside joke that we had. We actually didn't belong to anything. Um, uh, we mostly just play. We mostly just play video games a lot. That's pretty much. Actually, I think it was. Um, I think Ricky had like a Smash tournament that he invited us to, and that's oh. kind of maybe how we. Became... Yeah, I think that was like the catalyst of how we became like close friends. He invited a bunch of people. We all showed up. Yeah, and we started like hanging out a bit more because we had class. Like, I think Ryan and I had classes together, and then Ryan and Enrique probably. Hmm. Have you seen that shit talking about Smash uh, that happened recently? Oh, there was the, the um, uh, online Smash tournament that was like on on Twitch or whatever, and there was one of the streamers at some point. Uh, his his girlfriend came in the room and and massaged his shoulder a little bit, and so uh, a lot of people are accusing him of cheating because they say <laughs> like it's, it's it's the equivalent of doping or whatever. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's stupid. That's they're just jealous because he's got a girl. Yeah, having yeah. a girlfriend period yeah. is basically doping. Yeah, <laughs> not fucking fair. It is. Yes, not really. Can we? What? what? Where are you right now? Are you in your car? He's dead. <laughs> no. F. Hey, can we can't hear you that well? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's working on it. So, um, yes, yeah, by okay. like, who do you mean, Smash? I actually want to hear this. Uh, mm -hmm. I haven't, I haven't played Smash in so many years. I don't re even remember who I uh, played. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, I, I never played enough to main someone. You know, I just chose characters at random. Do you play uh, Smash? Yeah, we all play. Who do you mean? <laughs> I I've been waiting for K Roll to get in since Oh yeah. I found out about Smash so that I play oh, I him, him like all the time. <sighs> yeah. I love Donkey Kong Country. That's probably my favorite game. Characters with counters are so much fun. Oh yeah. Cuz cuz part of Smash is you're also trying to piss off the other player. Like yeah. you're trying to trying to get get him mad so that they start slipping. Yeah. 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 I've got a. Uh, what? <laughs> I've got. I've, I've, I've got. No. <laughs> <laughs> um. I'm pretty sure the other two admins have anything to do with the So you guys can probably just continue with just them too. I didn't get a word of that. <laughs> I think he said that he thinks that we can go ahead and have this without him. Oh, that's sad. 
His input is fun though when it when it happens. Yeah, that's why don't, weird. Why don't you like try to make it to your car or something, and then maybe you can... conference room. You know, in the office. Oh, well, that should be fine. Really we'll, we'll, maybe like, maybe, like go, go We'll go sit in the corner and like facing the wall, because maybe it's the echo. <laughs> <laughs> Are you using not, like a we're laptop not laughing mic? at you. We're we're laughing with you. Okay. Like you have yeah. headphones. Uh, like what's your current setup? I know actually. I don't know if there are ones I can talk with. Oh, this is much better. So scary. suddenly, yeah. Just stay don't, wherever you I are. Don't know what you just did, but that was don't right. Don't move. Let me turn the chair. That's better. Mm. That's better. I have no idea how that works, but okay. Oh, right. I know that's worse. That's worse. <laughs> then it got better again. <laughs> uh, it's it's so clouds uh, flying through dude, the sky. You should put on your headphones. Even <laughs> it, it really, yeah, it really does sound like you're underwater. You can talk through your phone and just put on the headphones and listen through the headphones. You don't need to talk through the headphones. So yeah, hold on. on this side. <laughs> Maybe it's his phone connection? I really... Like, is it bad in the conference room? Oh, yeah. Delta has pretty bad reception. <clears throat> I have a, uh, a question. Yes, please. Um, when when did you guys become the director's cut? Was that a... Was that, oh, like, after yeah. being reported or... or no, we actually... So there were two additional admins that I added because I thought that we need to be posting more content. One of them was a guy from Britain. Another one was here in the States. Uh, I don't know where the, the English guy went. He just kind of dropped off the map. But the other guy, uh, he was talking to someone, and I think he was trying to sell the page, and he ended up losing control Ooh. of it. Holy shit. He said he was just doing it for like as a joke. I really don't believe him. But yeah. <laughs> Uh, so luckily, <laughs> though, we made it. We had a backup. We got people over there. We had some pages like Florka Cows helping us like direct people oh, to the nice. backup. And the the thing is, we on that old page, we had posted a bunch of edgy stuff. So what I did was I got a list of links to all of the edgiest posts, and I told everyone, "Hey, go report these to get that page taken down." Nice. Because you know I had tried talking to Facebook, but they're no help at all. You can't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So eventually that page got taken down and so this is the director's cut. Damn. Okay. That's a cool story. One of the That's a hero story. story. From the <laughs> One of the right. people even tried talking to me and said, hey, I'll sell you back the page for like this much money. And I'm like, oh, it was back the page. Like, hey. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> It's a nice like, page, yeah. but it, I don't. I wouldn't pay money to get it back. <laughs> I tried to sell your page, but it was only ironic, guys. <laughs> LOL. God. I I spurked out so much with Flork of Cows. Uh, I this is one of my <laughs> of my big regrets. This is one of the big regrets of my meme life. But uh, it was like years ago. This guy was not famous yet and uh, I, I posted one of his comics but I, I found the thing on 4chan I'd never heard of, of him and I didn't know uh, he was the guy who uh, who made him I thought it was some, just some kind of fortune meme that was made by a, a anonymous people and so uh, he contacted me and said uh, oh uh, I saw you posted one of my comics are you a fan of some or something uh, it's really flattering uh, and uh, I, I, uh, I I got really autistic for some reason and i said oh so sorry mate uh, i i don't know you i thought this was just a 4chan thing uh, made by random people uh, uh. uh and uh after that he never talked to me again i tried to contact him many times but he never answered uh it's so, um oh. I'm, I'm a little yeah i i fucked up i'm um i i did a dump that Rip. day but no it was uh yeah. it was in 2016 i, I haven't I talked to flork in a while but uh I hear he's a sweetheart. Yeah, he really does seem like a cool guy. That's why I'm so sad of having been such an idiot. Um, but yeah, it was it was really at the uh, at the beginning. I think I was still I think it was still called exploding fish memes at the time. Like it was, uh, you know, I I um um when I started, 
I got big too fast and I didn't handle it very well. I did this kind of mistake all the time. And um, yeah, uh, the, the, the name change was uh, another way to bury, bury those mistakes in the past for me. It's kind of a, you know. Uh, but uh, happens. yeah, yeah, he, he does seem like a really cool guy and his comics are so funny. Yeah. Yeah, we love them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was yeah I was gonna. You were all from the from the West Coast, right? Yeah, uh, I, we're in California. California, okay. Um, that shit. I was gonna ask something and I I forgot. Uh, Lisa, <laughs> Lisa and Giles, please help me. I'm trying to remember my question. You go in the meantime. Ask uh, something. I used to live in California too. I used to live in Los Angeles. Hmm. Uh, I have family over there. You you know Uh, in Los Angeles. Yeah, we (laughs) we live further up north, though. Okay, we won't get too specific because we don't want those uh, thirsty (laughs) thirsty meme fans coming and stalking Mm, you. You know. Yeah, you wouldn't want that. Come to this address. uh, You know the meme page of admins. (laughs) You know, I think the (laughs) meme address on the meme page. Oh, sorry. Um, I think it's like Gaylord, Virginia or something. <laughs> it's like 420, 420, I think it's 420 Nugget Avenue or something like that. In Gaylord, Virginia. So he's yeah. leading people to the entire opposite coast. So they have no idea where to find you. Just yeah. Mis- misinformation. Just saying, like, oh, I'm also from Virginia. And we're like, that's, we're not though. <laughs> <laughs> Man, have they actually done out. that? We've actually gotten offers from people in the comments when we do like reveal like you know things about where we live and stuff. I believe uh, someone uh, message uh, commented on one of uh, Ryan's posts because he mentioned about where he lives. He's like, "Hey, you want to go get a beer with me?" I'm also down there, and I was uh, and stopped in once. And like my car, I was like worried. My car was like almost out of gas. I didn't know how to get. And someone commented who like actually knew, you know, Stockton and was like, "Hey, do you need like help or something?" So most of the time, people have commented like, you know, it, they've been pretty cool about it. Oh. Mm-hmm. Well, that that leads to the question of like, what's what's the creepiest behavior from your community that you've experienced? Uh, I've I've never had anything creepy happen to me. I don't know about okay. the other two. Most of the interactions are, are pretty pleasant or manageable. We've actually met up with a couple fans at at some time, but you know, it, usually it's that's not the case. Cool. I uh, yeah. I was... Oh sorry. 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 I Go did, on. I did it. Telling us that they've had a battle with some other poor. This other thing, and I was like, but you know, it wasn't us that did it. It was just another, like, I think it was a Discord group that I was in with other people. Oh, wait, I think I remember what you're talking about, but I, I don't remember it as, as clearly as you do. It was like someone was being a creep in a Discord group. Yeah, yeah about that like something. I don't. I don't think we're famous enough to have real like stalkers and shit. I think I was the the big. Uh, we talked recently about the TV show uh, Flight of the Concords, and uh, mm. it's like the, these two guys who have this really small band, and they have a stalker fan that is uh, kind of crazy, you know, and. I think that doesn't really happen in real life. You start having these creepy stalkers when you get like really big. I don't think, uh, but yeah, the, the interactions I've had with uh, with fans are have ninety nine percent have been really nice and uh, you know no nothing nothing really creepy. Sometimes people like were awkward and, and a bit weird, but uh, I, I wouldn't say that there's uh, something that has been. Uh, even remotely close to creepy. If anything, I, I, I've been the creepy one a, a couple of times, I suppose. 
I, I know oh, a yeah. meme page creator who has a page smaller than yours who um, had a girl, like, threaten to kill herself because she wasn't paying attention to him. Hmm. Not or he, he wasn't paying attention to her. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> how you say that. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I do a little bit of... Um, I do, like, some moderating or whatever for one of uh, Chad Mojito's pages, um, Sam Hyde's Dank Meme Stash. Oh, yeah. Um, And one time, and I think it's just because Sam Hyde's sense of humor is sort of creepy and weird sometimes, um, but this one guy started messaging the page saying really creepy stuff about, like, knowing who I was. Mm -hmm. And, um, And then he messaged my personal profile as well, and I just, like... The vibe I got from it, I just blocked the guy from like as much as I could. That's weird. <laughs> and just Damn. cut it just cut it off. Didn't reply to him. It was very I, weird. I accidentally did that. I, there was somebody I didn't know in person, but was like talking with on the internet for a while, who's like hiding behind a persona. And then I was able to be like, oh, hey, if you enter like this and this and this in Google, you can find out what your address is. Isn't that weird? <laughs> like, yeah, that, that happened to, to me again. once. <laughs> what? That happened to you? That- yeah, yeah, that happened to to me. Yeah, so some some dude uh, was able to uh, find my address and shit, and I was like, uh, okay, but why why did you find this? And the guy was like, oh no, I just you know I just have a lot of free time and I was bored and uh, but uh, it's strange, <laughs> strange vibe, strange vibe. Yeah, looking yeah. back, I realize that's really not cool at all. Yeah, <laughs> your intentions seemed a lot more pure than this guy's intentions, though. He was like trying yeah. to creep me out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, do you know that you were on your own? But because I accidentally removed myself from admin of Sam Hyde's Dank Meme Stash like a year ago. Oh. I, this <laughs> this is why you have, this is why you haven't seen me in posting for for from uh, for a while. Is because I I somehow I banned myself. <laughs> <laughs> From my own page, and th- let me that see happened. if I can fix that. Yeah, you don't have to because I I, I wouldn't you don't care. use the. Yeah, I don't have any. I don't have any content, so uh, it would be pointless. You can you can do whatever you want with this page. It's yours, and uh, oh yeah, yeah. It it happened to <laughs> me uh, with a few. It was very frustrating uh, because it happened to me with my uh, my rat page uh, a while ago. And um, so uh, I had to create a new one, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's I can be really clumsy sometimes, and uh, I didn't know you could ban yourself from your page or remove yourself from admin, but evidently on Facebook you can. <laughs> so that's um, that's yeah, stupid. It's tight. I remember, uh, I don't know if you guys had the same issue, but it was, I remember it was doing, during like the, the early winter, like in December of uh, 2016. December 2016, there was this bug when sometimes when you replied to a comment, it banned the person you were replying to. Hmm. That was annoying. That. I banned like a hundred people. <laughs> During before I figured it out, and That's uh, funny. yeah, yeah, and people were like messaging me on my YouTube channel about like, why did you ban me? I was like, I didn't. Ban anyone. <laughs> <laughs> so it was it was confusing, but yeah, pay Facebook always has this kind of bullshit. Um, yeah, it's yeah, full lately, of bugs. Lately, whenever I post, it tags the scroll Tiffany that I know. <laughs> She's like automatically tagged and everything she I, she got tagged in something like a really disgusting meme i was gonna post to um the holy church of daryllism <laughs> you probably saw this thing that uh <laughs> for for years uh when someone typed the word grandma in facebook it automatically tagged grandmaster flash <laughs> <laughs> And like it was like, and you know, Grandmaster Flash. He was like a rapper, f- famous in the eighties. And this guy was like, um, he's on Facebook right now. He has a page for his music and his personality. And he's he's the the owner admin. He manages him. He manages it himself. And so he, he's getting these tags every day from 
guy uh, from some, some old guy say, oh yeah, uh, hey uh, grandson, uh, me and Grandmaster Flash say uh, <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> awesome. uh, I think he was interviewed by Vice or some shit about it, and he seemed like to really enjoy it. Yeah. It's like I'm everyone's grandma, thanks to Facebook or whatever. It's, it was uh, yeah. <laughs> I love that kind of shit. I I have a question for our guests. Uh, with yes. with with all of you posting together on your page, what what would you say each of your personas is like? What's how do you how do you all blend together as as the main ingredients of this beautiful creation? Well. Uh, Enrique goes by comic book admin because you know he posts a lot of comic stuff. But in general, he if there's anything about literature, anything about like I guess cartoon, like animation, he he'll post a lot of uh, like a, a lot of that. Um, I I think I post the bulk of the OC, like the original content. We don't really know what Ryan or how to categorize him. That's why we just call him the ginger admin. Yeah, he's the wild card. Yeah, the wild card. Well, it's mostly just like, I don't know, I feel like um, our audience is like a really large mixture of our different interests. Like, even though all our interests in the melting pot would kind of be what our, like, nearly 200,000 fans match up with. Yeah, so, and, the, and the thing is, there's some things that, like, really interest some, and, like, you'll post something. You might not, you know, get that many likes, but you'll get some people that are like, like, you just find, you know, some people that like are really into some random thing. You and a really cool thing that happened the other day, um, I posted some frames from the Green Eggs and Ham Netflix, and we got one of the actual animators who worked on the show to comment Ooh. on the post, and I really oh, thought wow. that would happen. That's so cool. Oh, that's awesome. Damn. Uh, that was yeah, really nice. that was really. Didn't that happen again? Like oh. yesterday. Yeah, I I, I, saw, like, so, I shared an I shared a memory of like this like fridge with a bunch of <laughs> Jurassic Park cartridges in it. it just, it's oh like, yeah. Dumb image. If like it has like pizza in it too. And then, um, <laughs> and then the guy was like, oh. It's like that actual dude of the fridge commented. He's like, "Oh, when I post this eBay, I use a different picture," but like he just showed up in the comments, and he like owned a fridge full of Jurassic Park cartridges. And what? Someone was like, "I just saw that one." Yeah, how the fuck did you get the cartridges? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. like donations, like a dream store or something. But well, that just is really crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's uh. I th I thought that was some kind of project by these guys. Um, what's their fucking name again? Um, God, the, uh, everything is terrible. Ah, uh, everything is terrible. Yeah. Oh, they're collecting Jerry Maguire tapes. Oh, that's who it is. I was gonna mention that. <laughs> a temple in the desert. Yeah, they they did. Yes. They built a temple. They did a huge installation in L.A. of like a video store that was full of the Jerry Maguire tapes. They they yeah, keep yeah, doing yeah. different things with it. <laughs> The, all their little short movie things are really good. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Hoochie Woochie's Doggy Woggies, which is like just just clips from talking dog movies, but arranged <laughs> like the Holy Mountain. Oh, that's it's, it's, such... I want I to see that. To, I need to watch that later. Sounds great. Yeah, same. Same. Uh, so you, do you guys... Um, so there's there's one of you who posts... OC and the other and the other one who posts comics and the other one who posts ginger. It's, it's just yeah, ginger. He, he posts. He it's just, posts ginger. Yeah. But in general, we just kind of post whatever we we feel like. Like Enrique, yeah, will be feeling like Charlie Brown one week and then something else the next. And what people seem what to like would that. you? What? Oh yeah. Yeah yeah no yeah. I just do stuff like you know. Hey, I could. I mean, sometimes I actually you know make stuff, actually, but uh, I don't do it that much. Um, I know I want to make some, like something that I thought of, I'm hoping for. I'll probably do that whenever I have. But yeah, most of the time I just 
Oh, this is this. Okay. Um, I didn't catch all of this, but I th I think I got the gist of it. Oh, he uh, sometimes makes his own comics and he'll post them where he just kind of posts whatever I find interesting. For me, um, I usually just scroll through Facebook, like my personal feed. I follow a couple mm -hmm. pages and I follow a couple of friends that post a lot of, okay. like, share a lot of funny posts. So if I just see something I like, I just share it, you know, like, because um, I want to, like, it's supposed to just, like, I want to spread entertainment and joy to my followers. Mm. So, yes, okay. It's something yeah. cool. Like, I, yeah. I personally really like 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 video game stuff, like um, and like I share that for no one in MK. We, we like we all really like 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 video game stuff and I don't know like JoJo stuff and like mm -hmm. Metal Gear Solid, uh, like I don't know, just like a whole bunch of different like cocktail of interests that we all share. Yeah. yeah. What what would you say roughly? Would that is the the percentage of original content that that you post compared to the overall content that you post? Oh, uh, <clears throat> nowadays probably like less than half. I used okay. to do it a lot, but it, and it's just kind of like a seasonal thing. Like if I have free time or if I feel like it, I gotta wait yeah. till the for like the muse to sing to me. You know? Yeah, I see. I see what you mean. The thing about uh, Noah too. Is that the OC really good? Uh, is OC is really good? Is that when drawing? That sounds like a compliment. Yeah, he draws, he draws, <laughs> he draws an artist. So he drew this uh, G Waluigi thing that I thought was really well and he's drawn for Dream of Sheep. Pepe, when that was bigger, mm. I, I I know he did some other drawings too. But I feel so like he's yeah. talking about things that I've drawn. Mm. I like that's something like I do in my free time. I don't really have a whole lot of time to do it. I would like to, you know, kind of. I'm trying some to. More. I'm trying to do full time digital art, and All right yeah, on. it's not. It's not like it's an abstract thing to try and like profit of hour by hour. Yeah. Yeah, it seems really random, uh, the way that you can like get discovered and what people will like, and it's it always mm. it's always hard to figure out if it will work uh, beforehand. And the more granularity that you apply to uh, you know examining your uh, insights, and the more it seems random. And that's uh, because you know there is a lot of factors that you cannot. Uh, you know, figure out. Uh, it's all math, but it's math that is so complex that a human mind cannot comprehend it. I suppose. So, if you want to have a clear picture of of that, you have to look like a quarter or even a, a year, and then you can see the big picture of what what works, what doesn't, what could work, what people would like, what would be better, what you should focus mm. on. And the issue with that is that it's it's fucking slow and you know um when you when you have to work every day but you only will see the results of your work in in a year or two it's um it can make you feel really some kind of weird ang anxious i guess some kind of stress some kind of you know um feeling that what you're doing is is maybe useless or or pointless mm. or you always feel like you're going in the wrong direction and it's uh that can be really hard especially at first you know when you're established after a few years and we, you start having an audience and shit, then you can relax. But at the beginning, it's really, really... You always feel like you're on the wrong path. I've been trying to make graphic design for a few months right now, and I still don't know if it's a good idea or not. So, uh, yeah, it's... Uh... I think you're doing a good job of it. Oh, that's that's so nice. Thank you. It can only help, I reckon. Yeah, I mean... I have I have the time at the moment, so it's not a problem. But if I have to focus on something else, I don't know if I'll if I'll keep uh, you know doing it. It's uh, yeah, it's very um, you kind of feel like blind, and you have to to step on the. So it's kind of feel like playing DDR, but uh, with a blindfold. <laughs> That's life, man. DDR without <laughs> with a blindfold on. I guess. 
some hard uh, hard shit. So um so you you guys uh have some plans for the future of like your page like maybe you want to try making videos or some stuff like that or uh, uh or or you just like post whatever you want whenever you want and it's 100 spontaneous and you don't have any really any projects towards the the page I, uh, <clears throat> i have like a, a website for the page right now but i don't really think it's probably not that great of an idea because i i don't see a lot of people going out of their way to visit it uh -huh. and like um i think we talked about like having our own podcast at one point i'm not sure if that actually went anywhere Um, we have a Discord. Um, I personally don't use it that much, so I don't. I don't know. That's probably something that we'd have to to think, sit down and think about. Uh, definitely, we've been wanting to sell shirts for a while, so I think we'll check out Teespring, like you recommended. I um, yeah, I, I like. What, we mainly just use the page for our own entertainment and not for anything like actually. Fulfilling. I mean, it is fulfilling, you know, but actually, <laughs> we don't want to make it our whole life. Um, yeah, so we've been talking about growing stuff like Noah's art, um, like maybe t-shirts. Uh, I personally like doing, like, making my own video games. So that'd be something mm. if I did pursue, I would promote on there. Just be like, hey, I'm doing this. Support it if you want. Um, But, but yeah, I mean, these are all ideas that we talked about, but never really brought into fruition. Mostly because we're kind of just focused on our own lives right now. Like, um, knowing Ricky, I was still in college. I'm trying to support myself and my and my parents or my family. Um, so we haven't really discussed. We haven't really like bought into the page more. Just kind of used as like a side project. Yeah, I see. It reminds me of the you know welcome to my meme page. Yeah, that guy's. I love that page. He was huge. He's still working on his video game, I think. I, um, I, there's the his Kickstarter that reaches uh, reached uh, its goal uh, a, a month or two ago, and uh, mm. the the video game should be released in about a year, I think. And I'm I'm really excited for it. That 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 could be a that could be a really really good thing. Uh, shit shit name like this guy makes such a, what what's going on. Um, wait, uh. <laughs> yeah, I think he, Is that mom? No, he's, mm -hmm. he's. I think he's trying to find someone yeah. to speak. Um, yeah. Um. Like, you talk about like a me page. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really. It's um, I think it's a miracle that this guy made it because. Right, yeah, it's nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually on campus is where he is right now. Oh, okay. okay. Catching you between classes. <laughs> no, I'm um, just uh, here. So yeah, what, what? just All right. Just what I wanted to say is that I really, really love uh, Welcome to My Meme Page's his content. He makes awesome content. He makes some of the best OC I've seen on no, Facebook. No, I love that page. Period. Uh, It also looks effortless as well. So yeah, so like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. But, here's you know. a snail. I like snails. And just yeah. like 10,000 <laughs> likes. Yeah, the thing is, um, I was always surprised by his success. Not not because I don't like what he does. What he does is amazing. But yeah, he, he doesn't post very often. Like sometimes he posts just once a month. And also, I always hated the, the name Welcome to My Meme Page. I don't know. Like <laughs> In this in these times where it's really important, um, this guy is in he's in a quarry right now. <laughs> I, it sounds like he's mining some rocks. That's insane. Now he's diving. He's deep diving. <laughs> yeah, this guy is this guy is in Minecraft What's right up, now. Guy? <laughs> What's up, guys? Jesus. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, oh he's gone. gone. <laughs> It's like he was in the water level. <laughs> <laughs> he got dragged in too deep. Yeah, he, yeah, uh, yeah. He, he ran out of oxygen. <laughs> Put in a Mario sound of being like hit by an enemy or something and just. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of the, the Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, he, he lasted pretty long. <laughs> that's what she said. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Brother Abernathy. Uh, that's uh, the name he uses on, on Kickstarter and Patreon, I think. And um, yeah, I was, I always, I'm surprised to see um, the difference in branding from page to page, from creator to creator. And that also seems so random because there's, there's, you know, some people who have not a good, co not, a, not a great content, but they, they, you know, they manage to, to be successful just because they have such a great branding. Like they have good logo, good name, average content, and bam, they're, they're, they're famous. And there's uh, mm. some people who, uh, who have like awesome content, but their branding is not good. So they, they still, uh, have success, but, um, <laughs> it's, um, it's a little, um, You know, so sometimes you see people who have not a great content and not a great brand, and they seem to be successful out of nowhere. And uh, sometimes you see people who have great content and great branding, and they don't they don't have any penetration. That's what she said. It's, <laughs> <laughs> It's the normies. They're like this like unpredictable mm. factor. <laughs> the normie vote. Maybe. Mm. Maybe. <laughs> I love normies. <laughs> Why? Um, because they're in, they're into some like the stuff that they find entertaining is like so bizarre sometimes. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I like I like I like being surprised by what they find interesting and what they find offensive. It's just it's just hilarious. Yeah, I get they, what they you like, mean. They like they like they like positive affirmations. They like um. They, like they don't think they don't think that anybody knows when they do backhanded posting about about something like mm. like they, they'll they'll make they'll they'll share some kind of meme that's really specific to what they're going through in their personal life and like they don't think that anybody knows that that's what it's about they really really like emojis yeah that was always been <laughs> mind blowing to me i never understood Like I'm not, I'm not against emojis. I use them once in a while, but damn, I I don't I don't understand why they're so popular. Uh, you know what it reminds me of? Uh, what Normies really really loved about ten years ago was the fucking Rage comics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. They have. Um, I think I think there's something to be explored around here because. Um, Emojis are really, really popular for an armies and rage comics were some time ago. And I saw some kind of study uh, recently, not a not a scientific study, but more a marketing business study that that show. Whoa, what was that? Oh, my bad. Um, okay, I, I I sounded like someone fell. Um, Yeah, there was this, this uh, marketing business study recently that showed that on videos, especially on YouTube, but also on other websites, uh, thumbnails that had a face in it always had more success, like consistently. So emojis, rage comic, thumbnails with weird faces in it. I think there's something f that really attracts normies to faces. Like caricatures mm. of faces or uh, uh, drawn faces. Uh, remember that shit? No, you don't remember because you weren't born. But when I was a kid, <laughs> when I, Lisa, you pro, you were. Uh, I was there. I was there when you were a kid. I was a kid too. Yeah, I'm old as fuck. <laughs> But you know that was like the late 80s, early 90s. I would say um, the fucking yellow. Pac-Man, not Pac-Man, but uh, smiley face man. Yes, I don't, that just, was that just shit smiley face. was everywhere. Mm -hmm. And they all like wore wore t-shirts with that round yellow face with the smile. Yeah, I have uh, that I was know, crazy. That was crazy. That was like one of the biggest memes of before internet. You know, I mean, I know that internet already existed because. Uh, The web started in 1991, but, you know, um, people wore that shit on t-shirts and all that. That was crazy. Pre-internet memes is a, an interesting thing. 
I reckon that should be like documented more. Oh, it is documented a lot. There's a <clears throat> there's a fucking uh, encyclopedia dramatica, the the OG. There's know your meme, uh, which is which is pretty good. No, I mean I mean there's... pre-internet memes. That, um... Oh, okay, yes, okay. Uh, there's a bunch on know your meme. If you go to know yeah, your meme and you you do um, order by date. You'll see some really old memes, like from uh, the Roman Empire and all that shit, up to oh hell yeah, all, up to more recent stuff like Kilroy or the the S. You know the S. Nobody. Yeah, the S. Yeah. I I saw you know that yeah that uh, Scandinavian YouTuber called Let Me Know is is so great. He does these uh, these uh, really little you know uh, scientific videos, but on on the. Weird uh, phenomenons and and memes, and uh, the the S, you know the, the the S with the angles that we all drew in our note in our notebooks or, or at school. That that shit was a uh, we all we all did it all over the world. You, you, uh, <laughs> I I hope you see what I'm talking about because otherwise you're pretty <laughs> confused. But uh, <coughs> sorry, yeah, I know, I know. The 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 S with the angles. Um, and nobody, nobody managed to find the origin because uh, uh, the, the people kept digging deeper and deeper. And um, yeah, I, I, when I was a kid in France in the nineties, everyone drew this S all the time, everywhere. People had it on shirts. People did it on uh, on their on their notebooks in class. Uh, it was like ubiquitous, and it's. Nobody knows where and how it started. Oh, they found re- uh, oh. oh, yes. yes. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, uh, they, they found, found um, that's, that's just something of his video. Anyway, they they they, they found a, a, a interview of of Jean Michel Basquiat in the sixties where uh, he he said that he was the the S of graph or whatever. But uh, it was already you know in the sixties it was already famous, not famous, but uh, uh, you know it was already around. And it's it's uh, it's so weird. There's a lot of stuff you cannot find the really the origin of it. Like uh, some sometimes it's uh, it's obvious. Like some characters say something funny in some like sitcom, Pepe. and then people start repeating it. And uh, yeah, but you know uh, what about that boy? Nobody fucking knows how <laughs> and why that started. And it was one of the biggest memes of 2016. That boy. Oh shit! What up? Uh, it was just it was fr- it was not from something it was not from a game it was not from a book it was not from a movie or a show it's it's, it's just a thing that kind of appeared from nowhere and became huge for uh, no, nobody knows nobody knows here here he comes though that's that's what we do now yes He's yes coming. yes yes that's why i was so fascinated by this meme through all the year of 2016 there was a lot of that uh, happened in 2016 killing of harambe burger king food lettuce but this fucking frog on the unicycle that was the most fascinating meme of the year for me i really loved it because it came out of nowhere and he had no reason to work it had no reason to be famous it had no reason to be huge but it did and it was not even a normie thing or whatever it was just that boy that was crazy <laughs> i was yeah i was I, this, this thing fucking blew my mind and you know it was it was kind of a dark times in memes at the time because it was all this shit the damn daniel the guy who put salt on steak whatever oh god so oh, many fuck. so much awful shit at the time and i don't know i really love that boy oh yeah 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 also uh there was a bunch of food critics who tried his um his uh restaurant and apparently it's really mediocre like this dude built all his fame on appearance alone but apparently his uh his food is it's not really not really good like it's it's kind of boring I was. I've a, got I was, a. Uh, yeah. I've got a, a question for the guests, just to bring them back in. <clears throat> yeah, please. Um, w- did your page get? What What was the growth like? Did it start off quite small and sort of explode at a certain point, um, or has it been like a gradual growth over time? 
I actually remember it being pretty steady growth. Um, I th- I think part of the reason we got so much exposure was, and I don't know how to pronounce this, whether it's like the name of the page, but this is how I like to pronounce it because it sounds funny. Cream de la meme. Mm. They were From de pretty, la meme. Yeah. They were pretty big, <laughs> like 2014. Like they were actually a thing. And I, they were one of the reasons that I made my page. Like I wanted something that was, I had, I had a bit of a different vision for it. I mean, I don't, I don't mind. I really like where it, where we've ended up, but you know, and, uh, they, I have a, a screenshot from like my old iPhone that I have saved somewhere of like the first five or six people that have liked the page. And they were all like admins from that page. Oh, and that's nice. Uh, they were an institution. Like they were not just like a, a meme page amongst others. They were one of the first, and they were they were the first weird Facebook meme page to get big. The, the, before them, there were not a lot of meme pages, and they were all really small. I remember uh, a couple ones, like the one um, one that really drew me in was uh, fucking uh, asbestos removal memes. <laughs> <laughs> that was the one uh, I saw a screenshot <laughs> of this page on Tumblr and I was I want to get on the attack I want to get it on this action this I love I immediately fell in love uh, with that asbestos removal memes that blew my fucking mind in 2014 and there was another one that was really uh, not big at the time but it was big in meme circles like in Tumblr and 4chan you saw you, you saw posts about it uh, once in a while uh, Reddit too um, and that was this, the same picture of Nicolas Cage every day yeah. I think and um, mm-hmm. so these were the two pages that started circulating in uh, shit posting and meme circles around 2014 that, that really uh, you know There were some really, really specific memes, like meme pages. Like you had chair memes, yeah. lime memes, yeah. Any, yeah. anything and everything had its own meme page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that really got huge uh, was garlic bread memes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. They, the, if, I, if I had a piece of garlic bread for any, every gender that exists yeah, yeah. and it's two pieces of garlic bread, that, that was really fucking controversial. <laughs> and uh, People hated that. They posted the same content every day, 50 times a day. Like, they took any fucking thing and they put, they changed one of the words <laughs> with garlic bread and they got from... <laughs> They got from nothing to a million subscribers in 2015. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then they kind of disappeared because, you know, people realized the bread was stale. Uh, But (laughs) (laughs) Your memes are as stale as this fucking garlic bread. (laughs) Yeah, I remember in like in late 2015, early 2016, they were the biggest ones because the early huge ones uh, creme de la meme cream de la meme or whatever and orange memes uh, oh yeah there. orange memes orange memes helped me so much in the beginning and I'm really sad that that they're dead and they didn't c- come back they were my, my favorite uh, big meme page in the in the beginnings and um, yeah uh, there was these two polls of you know memory that dominated uh 2014 2015 that was uh yeah cream that i meme and orange memes and then they were both um zucked uh in tw- in 2015 i think late 2015 probably and uh so uh there was a, a an explosion of of new pages that kind of filled the void uh and that bridged the gap between a tank, as we called it back in the day, and normie content. And um, the biggest one that drew a crazy amount of normies in was classical art memes. 
Oh yeah. Like there was there were kind of you know kind of dank kind of epic kind of underground but they they got more and more normy as 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 the time went on and they attracted millions of normies uh, into the meme crowd and so I don't know I don't know if that's good or if that's bad but it worked and they got they got huge uh, I think now they have almost 10 million uh, fans. Oh. And um yeah, and um, uh, garlic bread beams uh, was the first, was the, the first one to get huge after the fall of cream de la meme and orange memes, and uh, when sites like Know Your Meme and uh, when um, a lot of external things started to get interested in us and our little movement, you know, like BuzzFeed and Vice and Know Your Meme and all that started to make articles on weird Facebook and what was going on. It was after uh, the downfall of, of Cream de la Meme and um, Orange Memes. And at the time it happened, like when the term weird Facebook started being like uh, written in, in articles and all that shit, I remember that at that time, Garlic Bread Memes was the biggest meme page around. They were the, they were the biggest. No, none of us, none of us come even came even close. Uh, it, they had, I remember, seven hundred thousand likes, which at the time was incredibly huge, and um, yeah, and they were um, they got completely ignored by the press, by the way, for some reason. Was was Cell around that time? Do you remember the page Cell? I. No, that doesn't ring a bell. It was the... Um, so was a little bit earlier. Okay. Like 2012, um, probably. Oh. Yeah, right. Damn. Um, I can't think of what I was going to say about that, but hmm. I think that's how I was sort of getting into weirder Facebook trends. Um, <sighs> hmm. <laughs> Sleepy. <laughs> you get. You can tell us if we bore you. <laughs> Feel free to just jump in at any time and wildly change the subject. Like, yeah, wait, this is a free for all. There's no. There's no format. There's no interviewing. Yeah. It's all just like shit posting verbally. Do not hesitate. About know your meme. They actually have a picture of me from like three years. No, four. Three years ago, because. Nice. As far as they know, we created the delete this meme. I'm not going to tell them that we didn't, because that's funny. <laughs> wow, what an honor yeah. to be considered the creator of the delete this. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. I reckon people who spread something to a wide audience should be commended, as well as the person who like came up with it. Yes. They are, usually, by the way. Uh, you know... For example, uh, Elvis Presley did not invent rock and roll, but he spread it to the masses, and, mm. and he's considered like the king. Uh, Steve Jobs did not invent computers, but he made them affordable and easy to use, so he's considered one of the biggest, uh, crea you know, one of the biggest of the computer world, uh, even if there were already computers before. And uh, mm. what else? Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff like this. Uh, a lot. Of, uh, Thomas Edison did not invent light bulbs or, or electricity, but he's credited with the invention of the light bulb, even if uh, there were only really light bulbs at the time and before him, and he just made them uh, more more sturdy and uh, easier to sell or whatever. And so I, I don't. I feel like that that's always been the case and um, I feel like recently more and more people seem to have an issue with that but for a really long time um, they you know that was the case and that was the norm and uh, well this was way way before Wikipedia or or anything like that for people to get to the bottom of the truth so yeah there's just there's just more information now for people to get pissed off about Nerds. It reminds me 
of another one of my failures. Uh, I tried to invite on my podcast a, a while ago the inventors of the bone hurting juice memes. Oh wow! Yeah, it was it was about six months ago. And I had a lot of health issues at the time, so I had to cancel several times in a row, uh, um, you know, uh, appointments that we had together. And after a while, I think they got pissed off and st- and stopped uh, messaging me. Was and also that one the of the special meme fresh guy? Oh no, special meme fresh. I invited him. Uh, the, it was the first guy I invited, and he always said no. Um, Damn. I. He he was always very secretive. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but there's um there's a Discord that has been created a while ago called the Meme Page P- Penthouse, where uh, uh, most of the admins from the biggest meme pages on Facebook uh, congregate to ex- exchange news and and tips and advice. It's like the Illuminati of meme pages. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I guess. Um, well, except the Illuminati, nobody knows who they are. It's more like the G7, you know? Okay. Yeah. And um, <laughs> <laughs> Still funny. And like all of us, maybe not all of us, but most of us invited Special Meme Fresh repeatedly to come on the Discord with us, and he always said no. Uh, I never. I don't even know what's his name or his face. The only thing I know about him is that he's from uh, Wales or uh, Cornwall or some some place in the south of the UK. And uh, yeah, he stopped. He he, del- he deleted his page uh, like a year ago. And he oh, deleted wow. also his uh, his Instagram and his Twitter. The only thing that's left is his Tumblr, but he's not using it anymore. Uh, he, uh, I've tried messaging him on Tumblr. He hasn't uh, replied. So that that's that's weird. I don't know what happened with this guy, but he always was like really secretive and uh, really um, like kind of kind of um, how to basic. It's like a reclusive genius or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not sure if I could call how to basic a reclusive genius. Oh, but, well, no, yeah, uh, no, no, how to basic. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> very protect, very protective of their uh, private life, uh, and um, you know, I I don't know why, but that's that always been a thing with him. I've um, he he never said, but no no he never he he never was interested in coming here. Um, there was a bunch of people who uh, who I invited who were like maybe like Dino Tendies, love Dino Tendies, great creator, um, and uh, you know his threads on 4chan were incredibly good. But um, yeah, he's not interested because he um, I don't know he he doesn't want people to hear his voice or whatever. And uh, maybe that could change in the future. He he didn't say no. He said I don't think it's a good idea. But uh, you know, uh, and the, the the creators of the bone hunting juice meme, um, uh, they're um, shit. Like, what's their the name? Their their page is pretty famous. Their page is pretty big. Um, it's. Um, um, I, I'll find it, um, but uh, but yeah yeah. And one of the one of the guys had to uh, go uh, in a a road trip around the world or whatever. I I I, I don't remember exactly what happened, but um, yeah, it was well. I remember that it was right between the recording of episode twelve and episode thirteen that they should have. Uh, come because episode twelve, I interviewed Kirbizia, the guy who created the Bone Hurting Juice subreddit, and so I thought, ah, that's interesting. Next, uh, next episode, I'm supposed to uh, interview the creators of the Bone Hurting Juice meme. Uh, that was not very interesting. You should, have, you, when I'm going on a <laughs> stupid tangent like this, stop me. We need to just cut you off. I will. Can we have a safe word when you're getting, like, way too nerdy about something nobody cares about? Sure, why not? Should I say, like, limes! 
or <laughs> something mojito related. So, um, guys, what do you guys like to do for fun when you're hanging out in person? I think I think the fact that you hang out in person is really special. Yes. Because, like, you know, all of us, Giles, Nelson, and I, like, we, we don't fucking know each other. So, the like, people that actually meme together and hang out together is special. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we, uh, most, lately we've been hanging out in our hometown and there's really nothing to do here. So, we'll spend a lot of time at my place playing video games, uh, Usually Enrique will have like a show that he's been into. He'll show us an episode or two. We like to go around driving. Just Ryan, we, you gotta you gotta show us some places around uh, where where you live. Yeah, we. I wouldn't mind driving over there. Yeah, I live in the I live in the Bay Area, so like you know San Francisco, that whole place. Um, so we hang out here sometimes as well. Uh, it's actually Thanksgiving break, you know Thanksgiving. So I actually plan on hanging out later today. Um, so we only have a few minutes left. Do you guys want to ask the same questions uh, before we can head yep. out? Yeah, sure. You were talking about video games. What are your favorite video games? Well, um, that's a really hard question. Right now, I'm definitely um, putting a lot of time. Like, I think what is the perfect video game to me that I love playing no matter what is um, Civilization Five by Steve Meyer. Mm-hmm. You know that? Like Civ so Five. Yeah. yeah. And in all my video game expertise i think that's like the most i wouldn't say it's my favorite video game but i'd say it's like the most perfect i've ever played like it just feels so i don't know it just like is so, such a wonder to play and you can make out so many scenarios and just like playing like time just disappears yeah when you play like, it like it's an easy game to just sink time into yeah it's insane that's everything that i put the most hours into that into that game um uh, otherwise, I'd say my, my favorite one. I I mean, we really enjoyed the Metal Gear Solid series. Um, I mm. I think all of them by now. So um, just like even like um, especially the spinoff like uh, Revengeance. And, Revengeance, yeah. Uh, MGS two, three, four. They're just also like beautiful in their own way. It's like a celebration of Kojima. I feel I don't know. I'm just really into the whole series. Have you played Death really Stranding? Like, uh, no, no, not yet. I actually, uh, I have Death Stranding, but I'm like my sister said that she'd let me play because she has a PlayStation Four, but she needs to find all the cords for it. So I'm hoping I can, you know, start that soon. Uh, let's go back to memes. What is a meme, recent or not, that you really hate that you wish you could make disappear? Oh, that's a good one. Uh, I don't want to waste it. Um, Ryan, what about you? Yeah, if I could do it first. Um, I really, so this isn't really, uh, it's just more pet, it's not like a specific meme, but it's like pet peeves I have. Like one of them is being um, like on some meme pages I follow or like, they have like you know like the history memes that's like oh it's like um napoleon oh it's like a something something circa 2019 colorized you know like, oh yeah yeah yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, so um I, I i they're fine the thing that really tricks me up is that you know um you don't have to say <laughs> it's really dumb well, why do you say if it's colorized if it's from like 2017? <laughs> like every picture was colorized. Yeah, like you don't have to say oh it's from 2019. It's colorized. It's old fucking picture. No, dude, it's from this year. You don't have to say it's colorized. You can see it. <laughs> like, it can be like 2000. It's colorized. Like, no, if it's sorry, 1940. Sure, yeah, but don't be don't be a fucking dumb bitch and be like. Don't just say it's not color. Just say it's a normal picture. Don't say it's colorized. So retarded when you put it that way. Uh, <laughs> I can't really think of a meme, but like as far as something like that, um, like I'm, I'm like there are some funny applications of like OK Boomer, but we have people on our page who will put that under literally everything. <laughs> so I went ahead and just straight yeah. up blocked the word Boomer. <laughs> Yeah. Like they can have it back when they learn to use it properly. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, there was always, like, there's always a year. I mean, every year there's a thing like this. I remember in 2016 or 2017, it was uh, every time was commenting, like, is this a JoJo reference? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. That was so annoying that like, they say this on every fucking post, every single picture. Like, is this a JoJo reference? Shut up, fucking weeb. Uh, <laughs> Uh, like yeah, I I banned the word uh, uh, JoJo uh, from my page for a couple of years. <laughs> I had that uh, too, and like I, all the JoJo character names that I could think of. Because whenever we'd post a picture of Rachel from Blade Runner, I guess she looks like a JoJo character. Uh. Like the hair. <laughs> okay. So I, I, all the JoJo <laughs> words I could think of were on that list. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recently, yeah. Um, yeah? Uh, the do you remember that purple head banging bird which oh, just fuck. swings its neck around? Oh trash yeah! Pigeons. Oh, yeah. that was so bad. Trash that dumps. was trash so dumps. people would just Fucking flood the comment bad. section with just a, the head banging bird. It was I like an apocalypse. Yeah, I rem- yeah, I remember. I banged I I remember that like one. a thousand person per day at some point. <laughs> my my likes my likes count really literally went down because I was banning too many people. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I hated it, but I hated it so much. Ah, that was so bad. That was so I'll bad. I put a picture of it. Um, yeah, it sounds familiar. I really love that trash dove personally. I loved I loved annoying people with it. I'm guilty. Mm. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, when you were uh, when you're the admin of a re- relatively successful page and you see that shit up to a million times per day, and that's not an exaggeration. It's literally <laughs> uh, yeah, so on some days my page gets a million comments, and so uh, yeah. that's uh, no, no thanks. Recently, what has been <laughs> it's really basically annoying literally to me. torture, <laughs> literally not torture. Really- I mean, yeah, it kind of puts you off of everything, you know. It's like uh, when when someone makes a joke and then everyone makes the same joke, but it's it's yeah. it's, it's annoying when people do that every day. So think it's not every day; it's every fucking minute. And uh, yeah, uh, recently, what has been really grinding my gears is all the people who are talking about their fucking top fan badges. Oh. Oh yeah. oh yeah, we like, don't even have that anymore because people kept doing that. Yeah, same. And uh, at, the, at 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 first, like this was kind of a novelty, so I went on with it, and then it annoyed me, so I removed the badges, and then the thing completely died off. And during the f- past few weeks, it has come back in full force. I don't get, I don't understand why. And uh, it, it's even more annoying than it was the first time. I don't know if you guys have the same uh, problem on, on your page, but like, yeah, the, during the month of November, the top fan shit has come back for some reason. Oh, and, no. And um, God, well, it's, so, wor- so it sounds, it's even worse than the first time. It sounds like Androids has just, just not, you're not doing top fans at all. You've just done with it. Yeah, it's it's it, no one's really complaining, so they don't seem to notice that it's gone or whatever. Yeah, we're not doing that anymore. It sucks because yeah, yeah. you can't even like you can't even ban the word top fan because they'll go ahead and post a picture, like a meme about it instead. <laughs> well, they'll find a way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was. I, uh, uh, yeah, I'm really pissed off that I lost fan subscriptions because that it started to become a thing. And then I and then I lost it permanently because I called someone retard in in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I got yeah. in trouble for calling someone a twink, like really a few weeks ago. <laughs> Fucking like really, man! You can't have fun anymore on Facebook. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, they- the censorship is getting better. It was worse before. It seems to me that. Um, you know, pages getting zucked and all that shit happens way less often now. And even I, you know, for some for some time during uh, late 2016, early 2017, I was really censoring myself a lot, trying to never post content that was edgy or you know being um, over the line. But 
now I don't give a shit anymore and I had zero post blocks since uh, last time was in March I think like uh, it seems to me that, that it, is, it has gotten better the uh, the censorship you know uh, between quotes uh, issue on Facebook and the moderators being a little too zealous uh, seems to have gotten a little better recently I don't know if was, you have the same yeah I was thinking about that and I remember this article that was published earlier this year called the secret lives of Facebook moderators in America uh, yeah. and I brought this up with Ryan and Enrique and I was <laughs> thinking because like we've we've had more than one strike but if we check the page violations it's absolutely clean and I was thinking maybe we have some guardian angels that are watching over us you know yeah Aww. maybe maybe they're starting to come around and like they'll They'll slap us on the wrist, but we're not getting any any violations. And I was wondering why that was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same. Getting pardoned. Yeah. Yeah, actually, uh, a bunch of times recently, I've had, uh, you know, these notifications that uh, Europe page published a thing. And then I, I appealed because now you can appeal and that makes a world of difference. And I've won. Oh, yeah. I've won Nen out of Tame. Nen out. Uh, what? What the fuck? Nine out of ten appeals. <laughs> right on. I've done um, during the past year. Like uh, almost all the time when I appeal of something, um, I get cleared. Because yeah, of course these people will report anything, and if people report the thing, uh, then uh, you know automatically, basically you go down, and um, you can appeal now, and you won. You win your appeals. Most of the time, at least that's the, the experience that I had. That's awesome. So, uh, yeah, nothing is uh, lost forever, it seems. And, uh, yeah, it's, the, the difference is crazy. Like, uh, I got um, I got post blocks 13 times in 2015. I remember oh, that. Wow. <laughs> uh, and uh, this year, only twice. So... <laughs> Right and I, I I post more than uh than before, and I have bigger audience than before. So, uh, yeah, it seems to uh, be calming down a little. So uh, that's uh, it's never won, you know, because it could go worse. Uh, it it because you never know how this shit works. You never know who fucking makes these community guidelines and who decides how they're enforced and why. And they're always changing. Yes. And it's, it's never really clear why. And they're always written in like really vague and broad terms. So you never really know what is uh, allowed or not. And, uh, you, before, you know, you know, you never know, uh, you never know if something is okay or not. You have to try. And if you get punished, then you know you went too far. There's no way you can predict uh, what is going to be over the line or not. Yeah, it's trial and error. And that could be very dangerous because you don't know which, what's going to, you know, be too much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's shitty. But um, that's how it is. And uh, maybe we'll change with the Copa thing. I don't know. Because that, that shit, I haven't really understood what's going on with this COPA bullshit by the FTC. But uh, I, I think there's probably going to be a backlash from Facebook and YouTube and uh, all these sites against that. And that could be the start of more um, freedom, maybe. I don't know. Is that the children's content thing? Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's what that is. It's, it's, it's sort of a good thing, though. YouTube was like this disgusting like crappy children content like pit so yes 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 uh i think uh if that's what happens th the thing is never uh, um nobody seems to really understand what it's about and what kind of content is allowed or not or uh and some people say yes but if you if you uh labeled your video as not for kids but it contains certain things like video games or pets which uh, can be seen as targeted towards kids uh then you can still get in trouble it's it's really really weird oh, man. I it's gonna be a fucking nightmare 
It's all. It already is because uh, nobody really understands what's going on. I've received a bunch of mails by YouTube um, asking me to uh, please label. So what I've done is that I've labeled all my channel as not for kids. Uh, I think the fact that my name is an alcoholic drink is kind of a giveaway that it's not <laughs> made for kids. Also, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, but yeah, I post um, some gaming videos. I post videos of my pets all the time, and I could I could be in big trouble for that. Uh, maybe the thing is nobody seems to really understand what is allowed or not, and what is the consequence of, of what. I've seen a bunch of videos explaining the thing, and they all contradict each other. So, uh, it's a fucking minefield. And everyone is wearing blindfolds. Uh, that doesn't change a thing, because the mines are under the, the soil. So, even if you... <laughs> Damn. You know. But, yeah, that's like, that's like playing Minesweeper... On Windows 95, you know? <laughs> it's, um, it's weird. It's weird. N nobody seems to really know what's going on. Uh, it reminds me of the whole thing. Everyone seems to have forgotten about it, but the, the Article 13 of the European uh, Union bullshit thing. Also, nobody really knew what was coming and what, what you know, it's... Uh, it seems to be always like that. Everything surrounding the internet and what is allowed or not is always so vague and unclear and never never predictable, you know, and we never know what is allowed or not, really. It's, it's really, really hard to figure out what you can do or not. So uh, that's, that's really a big problem because you always have kind of like this sword of Damocles on, upon upon you and you never know what's gonna set it off or not just like this fucking the the the, the game uh kuruhige uh with a the a pirate and you put the swords in a in a barrel and uh or the thing uh with the the crocodile and you you press on the tooth of the crocodile you don't have these games in america i suppose because not it doesn't seem like uh, you, you know what I'm thinking about, but sounds you familiar. Know, uh, yeah. It's yeah, it's like a chance-based game. Yeah. You know, it's always uh, it's always random, and you never really know what you should do or not, what you're allowed or not. So, what what happens in this case is that you just end up doing whatever you want to do. Or you end up doing not much because you're afraid of, you know, being over the line because you don't know what's gonna set off the the bomb or not. You know, it's uh, it's it makes everyone stressed. It seems to me that it's raising anxiety levels on everyone, and uh, it's really really hard to uh, really on a daily basis just to just express yourself. Because you, you never know. You never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, were you guys saying that you had to get out of here at a certain time? Yeah, we were going to try and meet up. Um, we we're going to see if we could pick up Enrique, wherever the heck he is. Oh, is he like? Is he lost in the void now and you got to go rescue him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck, we're, okay. we gotta got to tie a rope to our waist and hope for the best. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't do <laughs> any good if ground. you're all lost. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't do any good if you're all lost in the void together. <laughs> but it was so nice to talk. If you talk, if you die, is actually yeah, it was nice other huh? Yeah, it was cool. Uh, and uh, if you maybe someday want to come back, uh, yeah, definitely. You're always welcome. Um, I, I've always had this idea f f since the beginning that I would like reinvite people who wanted to be reinvited, and maybe we could do a like the I don't know if you've listened to the episode ten of uh, the the, the um, talk show, but uh, this, we did, we did a kind of game where people were pitted against each other and they had to find. A, a that was me, wasn't it? 
Yep, you were there yeah. with uh, the admin from Sheetpost Boat 5000. And, yeah. uh, you know, it was kind of trivia game where you say some real facts and some fake facts. And uh, the contestants have to find out which is which ones are real, which ones are fake. It was really, really fun. So maybe on this mm. type of uh, this type of deal. And uh, hopefully uh, Enrique will have a better... Mike yeah. Or whatever, that By time. next time, we're gonna we're gonna get them set up. We're gonna, with some actual we're stuff. We're gonna write. We're gonna write that wrong, or maybe, maybe wild wild idea. But maybe you could just since you're uh, friends in real life. Oh yeah, life, we could just meet up. You yeah. could just mm -hmm. be in the same room. That maybe that was that would be easier for you. I don't know. Uh, yeah. It would be it would be harder for us for the editing, but. Uh, if that's uh, if that's better for you, then we can do an no, exception. No, that, that'd I be suppose. easier with editing, probably. Really? Yeah, that'd be a, a yeah, because it'd be idea. one audio file. Y yeah, but I, I don't know. You'll you'll be the one editing that uh, if they're in in the same room because you seem to be confident about it. Go for it, Giles. I'll edit this. Uh, I'll edit this one. Uh, season two, episode six. And uh, well, since you guys have to go, uh, I, I just end the episode here, uh, I, I suppose. Or maybe you have uh, some time left. W when do you have to to leave? Uh, what do you think, Ryan? Yeah, we should we should be heading now. Yeah. Okay. Quite a drive. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna do a send off. Uh, that was Mohi Talk. Episode 20, Season 2, Episode 6, The Word Steer Alone on the Internet, with the admins from Do Android's Dream of Electric Means, the director's cut. Uh, thanks for everyone who listened. Thanks especially for the patrons on Patreon who help make this show possible. Uh, I'm gonna let our guests have a last word right now yeah like to android stream of electric memes the director's cut on facebook what about you garfield hater um like do android <laughs> electric memes on facebook please great so you know what to do and uh life is short eat dessert first bye life short eat dessert first <laughs> <laughs>